All right, got some more not so not so shocking news out of Nigeria again with the Muslims and Islam. Apparently, what happened was is that uh, there was an instance where some Muslims literally killed 21 Christians and displaced thousands more. Yeah. You see, again, Islam keeps displaying. See, here, here's what Islam is. Islam, since its inception, spread by way of the sword, just like Roman Catholicism, and, and just like atheist communism as well. But it spread by way of the sword and subjugated and violently forcibly, forcibly converted anybody, uh, Christians, whoever, to Islam. Because why? Islam is a violent political ideology. Okay, now I'm going to read this article. This is on robertspencer.org. It says, Nigeria, Muslims slaughtered 21 Christians and displaced thousands. Islamic genocide against Christians in Nigeria continues un unabated while the world continues to turn a blind eye. The most, number, the most recent number of Christians displaced in Nigeria's Middle Belt region due to Fulani jihadist attacks as well as attacks from Boko Haram does not begin to describe the real situation in that state. Two years ago, a genocide watch adequately titled an article, Nig Nigeria is a, a killing field of defenseless Christians, which gave an accurate picture and it was gotten it gotten much worse over the past two years. Basically, and I'm not good at reading on a computer, so just bear with me. But basically, the Muslims are just every single day genociding Christians, and it gets worse and worse and worse every single year. And left wing media just turns a blind eye to it because they don't want to be. They're afraid of being called Islamophobic for criticizing the violent political ideology of Islam. Anyway, continuing on, 350 Nigerian Christians were massacred in the first two months of 2020. Over 11,500 Christians have been murdered since June of 2015. Four to five million Christians are displaced and 2,000 churches were destroyed. Uh, it says thousands of Fulani militants killed 21, uh, sorry, thousands displaced as Fulani militants killed 21 Christians in Nigeria. It says uh, Christian Solidarity International. Thousands of Christians in Nigeria's Middle Belt region are currently homeless. Uh, following a daylight attack by Muslim militants on April 26, which killed at least 21 people. Not well, just Muslims following their, their perverted uh, pedophile false prophet Muhammad. You know, because Muhammad was just a, a warmongering, fornicating whoremonger. So, I'm going to point that out. Anyway, continuing on in the article. According to local sources, dozens of armed men in multiple groups uh, stormed four farming towns in the boundaries of Kundana in the Plateau states at about 4 p.m. local time, shooting and burning houses. Ezekiel Issa, a resident of one of the towns one of the towns in southeastern Karu local government area of Kanduna State, said the attacks in all four towns occurred simultaneously. Uh, quote, we, have, we suddenly heard gunshots everywhere and started running, unquote, he said. Issa said the attackers shot 21 people, including elderly people, and burned dozens of houses as over 2,000 residents of the towns fled. For, uh, for five hours, onslaught, the onslaught continued unhindered under the watch, under the watch by the Muslim-led military task force. The STS special task force are one are one are in one village, but not far away. And but they came around at 9 p.m. after the attackers had left. Unquote. Isa said, "Yeah, because they're you know ignoring these Muslim these these barbaric bloodthirsty Muslims doing just doing what Muslims do best." But anyway, continuing, it says. Quote, our houses, food, uh, food barns, and everything we own were, was destroyed, said the distraught resident who noted the attacks. The attackers spoke Fulani dialect. Tens of thousands of Christians in Nigeria's Middle Belt have been killed in Fulani militia attacks over the past 10 years. The attacks have driven millions of people out of their homes, and many communities have been uh, occupied by the attackers. The attack was intended by the terrorists to capture territories for a forceful expansion of Islam, said a tribal spokesman, Davidson Mellison. Yeah, because that's how Islam spreads. It spreads by way of the sword. It spreads by forceful uh, attacks, forceful violence. Because why? Islam is not a religion of peace. Islam is a death cult. It's that simple. So just more examples of just showing how Muslims are indeed the spiritual descendants of Ishmael, the barbaric and ancient tribe of the Ishmaelites. In Genesis 16, verse 11 to 12, it describes Ishmael as being a wild man. That's certainly a description of Muslims, wild men. So anyway, I wanted to point that out. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.